Now, this page in Chris section, literally, this is part two, Paige and Chris. They get their own part. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so y'all see my face, right? I don't know why I let this show give me this much anxiety. So the episode that has Paige and Kristen, it starts off with pretty much Paige. And she's like, oh, yeah, you know, um, I'm basically alone, moving into our place alone. Basically, Paige calls the producers crying, frustrated, furious, cursing out her head. That she's just sick of him and he just told her he want a divorce and he want to get back with his ex fiance and she's over this. F him and her. She's going off. So at this point, I'm like, oh my God, poor Paige. Like, poor Paige. Now it comes time for her to meet with Pastor Kyle. So basically, a part of me was like, well, he was asking her questions about it like as if he didn't know what was going on. So I'm, I'm like, okay, is he asking her questions because of the show? Or is he asking her questions because he really don't know this stuff? But anyway, he's asking her what's going on. She's breaking things down to him step by step. And basically, Pastor Kyle was looking like, what? And so they had the whole conversation about the whole sex thing. And Pastor Kyle was like, come on, Paige. Like, why would you continue to have sex with him if he's blatantly he done told you? Even if you did it the first couple nights. He told you that he was not attracted to you and he... You know what I mean? You still went back and still had sex with him again? Like, come on. Even Pastor Kyle was like, you better than that. You deserve better than that. You deserve better than that. So in the middle of their conversation, they're having a little meeting. Who comes walking down the hallway like he missed a big shot? So what irritates me with Chris, one of the things about him is, and he may think it's a good trait, but he's just real bold. He's bold. So he come walking in, oh, what's up, Pastor Kyle? Like, nothing. So basically, Pastor Kyle, like, okay, well, since you're here, you can let me know what's going on. And he basically, like, I can't see another man raising my child. Are you serious? So you signed up for this. You came on our show. You wanted to be here. You wanted to be married at first sight. So while you say you want to be married at first sight, you're still having intimate relations with your ex fiance during the process of being picked for the show that's just wrong on all levels personally i would have made him leave right then and there but you know again pastor kyle he pushed he pushed well you know as you sure this is what you want to do y'all didn't work you and your ex didn't work out before for a reason if you left her before what changed you know what i mean well how do you know this time is right and you got this girl ready to ride or die for you and you ready to just still go off with your ex so I seen Pastor Kyle pushing a little bit. <laughs> I'm here talking to the TV like, all right, Pastor Kyle. That's enough. Because we not going, oil you and water don't mix. They are e unequally yoked. They are not equally yoked. Okay? He still has his heart somewhere else. Let that man move on. And she already got this soul tie. She feel all connected. Let him go. And like Pastor Kyle said, usually I will fight to the death for a couple to stay together. He said, but not with this one. So, y'all see. <laughs> so, the, the part that really got me irritated was after Pastor Kyle left. Now, Paige, like, I'm really trying to be sympathetic. Be on your side. Sisters, why are you even allowing? He wouldn't even had no opportunity to be in my ear. As a matter of fact, Pastor Kyle, can you walk me to my car? It's a little dark outside. Why is we in here? And this little giggle smirk, you know, halfway smile. Like, listen, initially, I'm not going to say I was team page, but I definitely was like, Dad, you know, I don't like the fact that you really could be messing with, messing with this lady's emotions and her being her real self. Like, she won't be able to continue to be the better her that she was being before she met you. But now I see the shenanigans. Like, what? He whispering in her ear. I feel like I might be, I might, I could fall in love. After with she didn't say she got the fort short end of the stick and it's not fair and this and the third. And he feel like he, it was the right thing to do. He don't want another to see a man, another man raising his baby. All of that for you to whisper in her ear after the pastor leave. Just disgusting. 
Oh, and then so they get outside. So Nanny act like they just can't stop looking at each other. And they like, you know, she like, all right, well, bye. And he act like he's just so resistant. Like, oh, I got to. Now, when your ex fiance slash new now back girlfriend see that you was acting all hesitant to walk away from her, how many problems you think you about to have now? Broke back up on child support? Why are y'all standing there playing these little back and forth games? And she like, oh, why we can't just be like a regular, like, boring couple? Why we couldn't just be no Y'all ain't nothing. It is not a we. Where's the paperwork? Can we get an annulment? Where's the paperwork? And so she continues to plant this really small, you see that? Piece of hope in her mind. And she's taking it. That's the part that's pissing me off the most because guys is going to do what they're going to do. But if you're going to take it and you're going to receive it, then you're going to receive it. Come on, y'all. We got to help our sister Paige out. Because it's not looking good for her. That's it for me for, for right now. Part two, wrap it up. I'm done. We need some more self-love, self-care, self-worth for some of these women. So they can know what's love and what's not. I'm going to just be praying. All right, guys, make sure, like, comment, subscribe, come back. And I will see you guys next week for another episode. Have a blessed week.